it'll it'll really throw you in there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew, and welcome to a little video of a game called Project Warlock, an indie game developed by Buckshot Software. I almost butchered that intro, as I usually do. It's a first-person shooter inspired by old-school classics like Doom, Hexen, and Wolfenstein, and it pays homage to the 90s shooters, both visually and in its gameplay style. I'm going to quickly show you, because we're in the workshop right now, so I'm just going to quickly show you because it does have a bit of an RPG system where you can upgrade your weapons here, as you can see. Uh, I've already played the game a little bit. If you have came to the stream, you would have seen. There's spells that you can get as well, so it's not just a... a, a sh not strictly just a shooter. You've got spells that you can use like this, which I unlocked. All it does is just light shit up. That's all it does. <laughs> it doesn't... It doesn't hurt enemies. And then you've got your stats that you can improve as well. And over here is the little hub thing where you can start your missions. We're going to select this one, though. So you can see that I've already done all this crap. You can't actually repeat them just yet, it seems. I'm guessing you're going to have to go through them. I did the boss battle, and that was a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, apparently this got the tick of approval from John Romero himself. And listen to the music as well. The audio in this is really great. If you pay attention... I think that's just the the ambient sounds now, but when the music kicks in, it's really good. And I'm loving the weapon system in this. There's some decent weapons to play with here. Oh yeah, these are some new new enemies. They're a little reskin, but that's okay. These enemies have guns. This is uh you can see right away already that this game does not fuck around. And this is only like the second stage I can slow my character down as well so this is like in always run mode I can just drop it down to to just like a normal sort of jog <laughs> if I want to luckily these guys aren't too bad controls are very simple I like them it's just your, your typical WASD oh fuck these guys are flamethrowers and they explode. Whew. Yeah, just your typical WASD. You've got Q and Q and E to switch weapons, or you can press the corresponding number. Obviously, uh, you've got your right trigger to to use your magic, and then obviously your click. So the cool thing is that this kind of this particular weapon has two styles. I can I can shift them. I can feel like I can go up to the enemy and be like, you fucking you just just. This prison cell's mine, not yours. Because that's how it works in prison, right? And then I can hold it and then throw it, which is really cool. And then I've got an axe, which is a little bit slow. And you'll also hear my character randomly making noises like, uh -uh. like for some reason, we. Now the game is, it's got, a, it's got different modes, so if you're a little bit concerned, I, I would highly recommend this game already, just in the small amount of time. I think I played it just under two hours. Oh, fuck. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> I played it in under two hours, and I would highly recommend it already. It, it's got several, well, three modes. You've got classic, uh, not classic, sorry, you've got casual, which is basically infinite lives, and... I think that's about it, actually. Just, just infinite lives. Whereas I'm playing on standard, which gives you three lives. So if you die th um, three times, I think it restarts either the whole game or just a section. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Either way, I figured I'd play on standard just to... Just because I didn't want to wuss out and go casual. Not that you're a wuss if you go casual. There's many reasons to play casual. Maybe you're not that good. Maybe you just want to chill. I mean, there's no story in this, so there isn't really much of a reason to to not try it in standard. Now you've got your hardcore mode as well, which is the final difficulty. Holy shit, sorry. I'm trying to mix that up so you can see what the weapons are like. Alright, awesome. Yeah, your hardcore mode, basically you get no lives, so if you die, that's it. You're pretty much fucked, and you get double damage. Not as in, 
you dish out double damage, as in every attack that hits you does double the damage. It's kind of messed up. Oh, the door's here. I got used to playing the other level where the doors actually look like doors. But I'm loving this. This is this does really well uh, to pay homage to those classics. Hey, hey, hey. I just shivved the cunt. Yeah, it does really well to pay homage to those old school classics. I remember playing a lot of Doom when I was younger and I wasn't very good at it. I don't feel so bad at this. Obviously, this this actually takes elements from modern day games and elements from old school games, and it does really well to balance them. So I, I like that a lot about this. And these, the guys that fire their guns at you, they, they remind me a lot of the gut enemies, like just the standard grunts from Doom 1. Like these guys. Oh, what I pushed? I pushed the ice thingy. Obviously, you can see the visuals for yourself. And I'm gonna take a look at the menu just to go into some of the boringish stuff, like I usually do. I have to. It's important when trying to promote these kinds of games. Um, just because it is. Now I'm gonna go into the options. The options are pretty nice. Given the fact that the visuals in this the music stop. Given the fact that the visuals in this aren't very high end, you don't really have too many settings that, I guess, adjust performance. I mean, you've got your, your quality settings here. Let's see what it looks like on low. It actually doesn't look bad. <laughs> in all honesty, it kind of just makes it look even more classic, <laughs> which is really good. Let's put it back up to high. It defaults to... um non-full screen but you've got things like saturation that i really i really like i feel like this gives you the gives you even more options to play uh, i guess to play around with it to make it look like an old school game but then it, it does actually have options to let you play around and make it look old school because uh, you've got the threshold thing here i think the defaults around about here i turned it all the way down just to give it a little bit more of a, a cleaner look but if we go back here, you've got your retro shader. And this is where you can amp it up. Like, that's obviously, even old school games, I don't really think there was a first person shooter, but you can go down something like that. It pixelates it a bit more. That looks that looks very old school-esque. I like that. Um, you've got your different color palettes that you can choose from. I don't remember what the default was, though. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, Game Boy! Yeah, I guess let's leave it on that. Um, and then you've got your your strength. Like you can choose how high, like how high end you want it to be. Uh, I well, I guess the, the strength, which is what it really does. But I'm not going to play around. Oh, I, actually, I can leave that on. So you can change it to CRT as well. This is another interesting thing. Uh, what have we got here? Let's change horizontal. Yeah, I haven't fiddled around too much with this. With this, obviously. Ooh, moving scale lines. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That's interesting. Glitches, jitter. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I like that. Uh, and then you've got your audio options. Very basic. You've just got sound effects and music because there's no dialogue that it's not really an issue. Controls, which you can rebind pretty nicely. I like that. Um, let's see. Spell selection. Scroll wheel plus interaction. Ah, okay. I didn't actually know that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's play a little bit more. I want to showcase. Holy fucking shit. Fucking vagina worms or some shit. What are these? Yeah, this game is not very forgiving if you like to stand around. This is something that I really like. Look at this. Look at this modern day detail. Because it's ice, I can just push it. How cool is that? How fucking amazing. That's a, a nice little detail. I'm really glad that the developers put a lot of effort into this. Or well, the developer. I think it's a one-man team. I'm not entirely sure. Although I feel... I apologize if it's not a one-man team. I'm not actually... I'm not all that familiar with Buckshot software, unfortunately, because they don't have a website as far as I can see. But links will be in the description if you want to play this particular game. It's available on GOG. I recommend getting it on GOG and nothing else. 
um, unless it comes to console. It'd be nice if it did. Um, because GOG's refund policy is a lot better, I I much prefer it over other, I guess, their competitors. But uh, it's a timed exclusive, so you can't actually access it anywhere else for the time being. Oh. See, this is something else that it does. It'll, it'll really throw you in there. And I've already died once. Woo. And ammo doesn't come easily either, so you gotta be careful with that. Um, but yeah, Link- ooh, ooh, a new spell, what is this? Yeah. And I like that it doesn't actually let you aim that high or, or low either, which is really funny. Oh yeah. What's this? Oh, okay. I'm getting distracted already. Let's go through here first, we can't. Yeah, it uses that old school system where you had to find a key to actually progress. And I was mentioning on stream that the axe, I think the axe has kind of been nerfed a little bit because, let me turn this down just a tad bit. I'm getting a little, I might be clipping here. Uh, the axe, you can't just swing it as much as you want. There is a, a little bit of a cooldown on it, which is kind of good. I feel like it balances things out. Oh, switches to go, holy shit. Is this a new shotgun? No, it's just the same one, but I get ammo. Look at that, you can chop the trees down. <laughs> oh, man. What is this bloody thing? What a weird monster. I like that. The monsters aren't just direct copies. Ooh, what's this? They're not just direct copies from old school games. They're pretty... They're pretty much their own thing. This does remind me... A little bit of Hexen. I, I did play Hexen back on the PS1, I think. But I wasn't very good at it. I really feel like the spell system could use a tad bit of work. Only because, like, I've unlocked this. Whoa. I've unlocked this and that's about all I've got to use for the time being. Ay, ay, ay. Now let's go back to that, that little switch thing. I want to see what was behind there. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Now, another detail I like, which I'm going to show you really quickly. This crossbow here, yeah? Now, in old school... In old school games, like it would, you fire it, that's it. The ammo's gone. But in this... You can pick them up. You can pick up all your bolts. How fucking cool is that? I love it. I love it. And I don't know where to go, so I'm just going to chop down this tree now. Alright. <laughs> Let's go back through here. Wait, am I lost? I am. I am very lost. No, 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 no. I am not lost. How dare you. How dare you people assume that I was lost. Huh? I was testing you. You believed it. Sequence complete. Okay. Enemies, that's a good sign. Usually means I'm going the right way. I gotta be careful. The ammo in this particular gun now... ...is very precious. Because I upgraded the pistol that you get here, this one. Doesn't... it's not actually this powerful. It just starts off as a plain pistol. You can upgrade it to a 50 cal. And that's gonna be the end of this. Oh no, it's not. I thought this was the end of the stage. Ay 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 ay. Okay, let's get out the big big. 
And I can cancel out my charges as well, which is really nice. There was something else I was meant to show off, I can't remember. Ah, <laughs> oh. okay. I think though, I'm gonna end that particular video there. I've kind of showcased enough of that. I might stream more of it, I'm not entirely sure. If you think I should, let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. If you missed the stream, then I can try and pick some better times to stream it at, I guess. I'm not gonna be like heavy into the whole streaming thing. I just wanna do it occasionally. But I'd really like to be able to have people there and be able to interact with them as I'm playing the game instead of just doing this type of video. I only want to do the one video. I feel like that's enough for this particular game. I highly recommend it. Uh, I don't really have any issues with it at the moment. I am loving it. I'm glad I, I got it. I think I paid 27 bucks on GOG and got 10 bucks back as store credit because GOG likes Aussies and doesn't want them to suffer like their competitors, that, that other competitor that they've got that starts with steal that steal they steal your money or something like that i think that's why they called it steal uh, you, you kind of figured out by now that i dislike steam so yeah <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying i'm ranting but anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below let me know what you thought of it and as usual ladies and gentlemen i will see you in the next video